Doctor, you've talked about how vitamin C can can convert to hydrogen peroxide, but hydrogen peroxide also can be used as a as a cancer therapy. Can you explain how? Well, some people that's give administered? some people give hydrogen peroxide intravenously okay. in a very low concentration. Uh, the hydrogen peroxide that we get in the in the supermarket the drug or store, drugstore yeah. is three percent. Okay. Uh, the hydrogen peroxide we use to bleach our hair is twenty percent. The hydrogen peroxide we use to we use to shoot rockets into space is ninety nine point nine percent. But but the hydrogen peroxide that we give intravenously was was really a process developed by Dr. Charlie Farr, who's a dear friend, a dear old friend of mine, many years ago. And uh, Charlie Farr uh, did some research and they found that in India. In 1924, there was a flu epidemic, and there was a doctor there who was kind of a brilliant researcher, and he cured many people of this deadly flu giving intravenous hydrogen peroxide. Hmm. Charlie re re resurrected that work, and uh, he found that by giving people with the flu or with autoimmune disease, with arthritis, intravenous hydrogen peroxide in a very low concentration, he diluted it 100 times. So he took 3%. And, and we used, medis used medical hydrogen peroxide, medical grade, not even food grade. Okay. You know, there's, there's, there's drugstore grade, and there's food grade, and then there's medical grade. We used the medical grade, high quality hydrogen peroxide, very pure, and diluted it down to 0.03%. So it was one hundredth the percentage of what we get in the pharmacy. Okay. And gave it intravenously and got great results with many different conditions. Now, I never saw it looked like it totally reversed cancer or cure cancer, nothing like that. But I did see people with cancer do very well. And people with cancer have immune problems above and beyond their cancer. People with, mm. with, with cancer also have trouble fighting infection. They also have, mm. uh, especially if they're, if they're getting chemotherapy. Okay. So, so Charlie Farr, I think, did brilliant work. If I had anything to do with it, I'd give him the Nobel Prize. <laughs> I, th I think I think he did Nobel Prize work. I think maybe you reared in, in Kansas, talking about mm -hmm. the high dose vitamin C, could be could be you could argue that he deserves a Nobel Prize. Mm -hmm.